Welcome back to Black Coffee the Refill. Yo, the best part about having Irv Gotti here is the stories you get in between. Oh, <laughs> the crazy. stories in between the shows Wild. is even better, man. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Allegedly, there was a pistol in this story. Yeah. We don't know. That's <laughs> crazy. Uh, what I was saying. You got to clarify. What I was saying. I just, just the the we was, no, first we got to revert back, and I said, with the Taylor Swift, Scooter, and Justin Bieber beef, I was like, wouldn't it be great if why Scooter and Justin B was walking, if Tay Tay just went bap and let one, one in the one shot. Not at him, not killed him. I said, yo, them <laughs> will get on the horn. Really. <laughs> and, I, and I'm making jokes about it because this is what we deal with in the culture. So then I, was, I said, yo, I was at the Source Awards when Man. Suge said, all oh, dancing, all in the videos. And yo, what was so crazy about that and so crazy about the culture is everyone in that room was like, yo, someone's going to get shot. But no one left. Nobody left. <laughs> and when you when you when you looked in the audience, you know, Bad Boy was mobbed up, Death Row was mobbed up, you know, Queens his Nas are mobbed up, Wu Tang and them were mobbed. Everyone's mobbed up, yeah. like ready for it to pop off. It was like a scene out of the Warriors movie. Wow. You understand? But the crazy thing is, no one left. Wow. Like if you left, probably it's like, oh, you left. He you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. You had to stay there to be a man. Nah, right? you, like, you was like, going to have to shit, prove like, your manhood right. and take a bullet. Might right. get shot. Might, might get, get shot, shot in this bitch, but I'm going to be platinum tomorrow. That's, when, you, oh, it was ahead. crazy. When you look back on those, those, that era, right. that, that mid to late 90s, you think about that, what, what could have been done different to stop the craziness that happened? Or should I don't know, because the gift and the curse with hip-hop is it is a bunch of ignorant... I, I, right? So it's I, a bunch of ignorant is that's now making millions of dollars. Right. Okay? You think for one second you're going to stop me from getting this money? You trying to stop me? I'm going to kill you. Literally. Because when you was on the streets before the shit, that's what it was. You selling drugs, you risking your life, and this is the life we live in. So now I got this beautiful life. I'm making millions of dollars, and you're going to go up there and say dancing in the video. You trying to shut me the f down? Oh, so even if it isn't how Diddy feels, it's 20 that's with Diddy, like, I'm gonna kill me one of these mm -hmm. They trying to stop this life I got. Mm -hmm. Before they stop this life, I'm ready to die for this. Mm. Wow. Truly. And that's what hip hop is. Hip hop is off the block, man. Mm -hmm. But, but it's it, it, oh, go ahead, please. I was gonna say, because it's interesting to see, like, now this new generation, the beef is like straight social media. Like, it's likes, it's, it's unfollows. Different. I it's, appreciate yeah. the, the new kind of peaceful way, because we're. We're, we're losing kids to drugs. Corny, though, hey, let, listen, like let, me, let, let, me, let me segue into something that'll be good for black coffee because <laughs> everyone's asking me my opinion on this, so I'll do it for you guys. Thank you. Little Nas X, if it was 20 years ago, he would have a, a problem. Yeah, right. definitely. For sure. If this was 1995 and, and he, he came, came out. out and said, Joe, I'm gay, he would have a serious problem. Yeah. But I said, here in 2019, I said, no one cares. Nobody cares. Not one of they them. said, yo, is the artist going to stop working with them? I'm like, no, they're going to work with them more. Yeah. I said, no one cares. And I said, honestly, they asked me my feeling. I said, yo, my honest feeling is, yo, if that's who you are, embrace it and all good. I'd rather someone do that than to be fronting. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Actually, then I was I like, there's probably a bunch of rappers who's gay who's fronting right now. They got mm -hmm. their bad bitch beard or whatever like that, and they fronting. Yeah. I'd rather what when Frank Ocean... Little Nas, it, yeah. just, it's all good. Yeah. Is that what happened in the 90s? I mean, because I remember in the 90s, on radio, it was the search for the gay rapper. There's a gay rapper, there's a right. gay rapper. Clearly, I like, never knew who the gay rapper was, but I know what you're saying. Yeah, it's yeah. like a big, there's a gay rapper. Yeah. There's yeah. a gay rapper. I didn't know who the gay rapper was. It never came about of who the gay rapper was. But do I feel it was a gay rapper? One million percent. Yeah. Oh, mine's Charlie. Um, yeah, yeah, of right. course. Right. So right, the right. culture really has shifted. That's a, I mean, that's a positive shift for the culture then. It's a very positive yeah. shift for the culture. Yeah. And it's like, just be who you are, and we will embrace you. But that's always been hip-hop, too. Mm -hmm. would, you sign, would you sign Lil Nas X to Murder, Inc. today if you, had, if you were? Yeah. Who else would be a part of that? Rapper? I would sign a, a, a gay rapper if he was gay and said, "Yo, I'm gay." Yeah. yeah. If he was nice and I feel he has ability or whatever like that, again, no one cares. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's totally different. No one cares, you know. Mm -hmm. Who would be another rapper that, like, if you had a a, a new a roster. murder in roster? Tupac. Uh, uh, alive. Okay. That's that's <laughs> alive. I don't think the bars gonna get no worse. I'll take a post Hamas album. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, uh, uh, Tupac. Nah, nah, nah. 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 They didn't age well. Today, Some of them didn't a age new well. rapper. Uh, J. Cole. J. Cole. 1, what do you percent. love about J. Cole? J. Cole is like 
to me, he is right there in the middle of my generation and the new mm -hmm. generation. He's the middle child. That's what that's what the song. Was. A lot of people say. Look, some people say he's boring though. Boring. Yeah, some people say. Nah, he gets boring. busy, yo. Yeah. yeah. He gets busy, yo. Like as 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 far as a lyricist goes and a, mm -hmm. a rapper, like from what I like, yeah, is is J Cole. Yeah. And in, in every well, really. Here's the crazy thing. When we talk rappers, there's two people I exclude. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jay Z. Right. Because he's just different. Yeah, and he's that's... not like y'all. He's going to be 50 <laughs> and, and can still... still drop a verse to yes. shake the world, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't talk about Jay. And I put Drake. Up there. Someplace different. Drake is different. Okay. Really? Like Kendrick, Cole, everybody else is in the loop. J. Cole. That's Listen. Yeah, 100% really. Drake is, he's not like the rest of the crowd. He's not. Okay. You're talking about as I, I artist, like him. I just know you had him up in that stratosphere with Jay. It's just different. Lyric, you, like lyrically, you, like what? No, what is I'm it? just saying as a whole. Okay, as a whole. As package. a whole, he's as a not person. like anyone yeah. in the game. You can, you, I can, hate that. you can say that. He's, no, I don't disagree. Just, that. The guy could drop Hotline Bling. He ain't rap a lick, and then from Hotline Bling, zero to one hundred. Yeah. But he's just yeah. throwing it. He's different. Yeah. He's he's one I of the kind. He's he's one of a kind. He's he is him and Jay. I put them like everyone else is on the planet Earth. They're like chilling on Mars mm. or yeah. Venus or some shit like that. They're just different. What about singers? Any singers of today that like not could be the new Ashanti, but you would see and sign and put on? I like I like the LMA. LMA. I actually was like, damn, that's kind of. I would have made those records for Ashanti. Wow. Mm. Uh, Ooh, so and you, Ashanti you booed up. Yeah. Oh, Ashanti that would have oh, been booed up. fire. It's a massive hit. Right. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. right now. Right, she never right now. came booed up. If Ashanti made booed up, and I feel if me and Ashanti was in the studio, I would have made that record. Right. Mm. Or That's something good. exactly yeah. or similar like it to shake up the world. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the booed up record was like, it was all my shit with Ashanti, it, it, it was men first, and it was hip hop culture. It was subject topics that lend towards a man being smiling or right. whatever. And I would have made that record for mm. sure. When I heard it, I was like, I even thought, I was like, damn, I wish we was cool. I would have gave it that hit. Right. Mm. Will y'all ever be cool again? It, me and Ashanti could be cool again. Working on it's, it. It's, it's, leading, it's yeah. leading to that. You know, life is treating me so good. God has put me through very hellish times. But I've survived it and came out, and it's like, yo, everything is going so well. I got like six projects I'm about to do. Yeah. There's no reason for me to be mad or horrible. But I'm a cancer, right? So with me being the cancer, oh, it's like when someone hurts me, I, it. it's it take it, you know. It takes I'm a not. Lot. I'm not. I'm going. I'm going to keep harboring. I'm going to keep that feeling. And even though I say that now, it's like I'm the type of person if you did up shit or whatever with me, if I get around you, I'm like, ah, oh, what am I doing around this mother mm -hmm. or whatever. So it's a, it's like an open statement. I don't know. You right. know what I'm saying? Hopefully, if, if we do this Murder Rink tour and I'm around her, hopefully we, we can have need our, that. Our we had a good vibe. Uh, we need that for the coach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. need that and for the I coach. And I openly man. want it to be that, but I can't say until it happens. Right. I may get around her and think about some shit she said 20 years ago or 15 years ago, and I'm like, oh, Right. You understand? Yeah. Well, we hope that don't happen, man. bro. Right. I appreciate you for coming through, man. Thank you for Earth. staying with us. Man. We didn't talk about pop. We, when you come back, we will. Yeah. The whole fucking conversation. The, the is whole gonna show. Be pop. You gonna you gonna read it out right? We should go live on BET Instagram. We yeah, we should go bar for bar. We do that. Exactly. Thank y'all. Black coffee. Remix.